hidden details you miss during the closing arguments. The closing argument is an imagination of what happened during a murder based on the evidence you have. And since it's not 100% certain who the culprit is before the results are revealed, the culprit has a black body in his imagination. Hence the name Blackened. However, in the fifth case of Fitri, Saihara was imagining the culprit to have Kaito's jacket, which implies that Saihara was 100% almost certain that Kaito was the culprit. In the beginning of chapter 5, Kaito asked Maki how to disassemble her crossbow. This is not because Kaito was randomly interested in crossbows, but because he wanted to threaten the mastermind with one. And later in chapter 5, you can see Kaito assembling the same crossbow he assembled at the beginning of the chapter. Still at the topic of crossbows, judging by his face, Kaito is unsure about his plan to threaten the mastermind. This is mainly because he is sick and only has one arrow which means he literally has one shot at this. Maki, for some reason, knows how to pilot the Nexus all. There are so many details in these next images, and I'm gonna go through all of them one by one. So, let's go back to the first one. Kokichi did not flinch because he knew Kaito was bluffing. After all, the crossbow only had one arrow. This is paired with his look of confusion. Threatening with one arrow? Even I'm confused. Kaito only wanted to threaten Kokichi, but because Kokichi was most likely mocking his plan as stupid, he got angry and shot the arrow. The arrows almost pierced Kokichi's vitals, but he twisted his back at the right moment and guarded himself with his arm. Because he had no arrows left and his crossbow was deemed useless, Kaito immediately jumped Kokichi. Seeing the Exo, Kokichi thought that it was part of Kaito's plan, even though Kaito was evenly surprises him. You can see this by the shock on his Kokichi's face. Kokichi tried to run away, but was pushed back by the force of the arrow. Kokichi is surprised that Kaito protected him, even though he tried to kill him a few minutes ago. Kaito also did not know that the arrows were poisoned. This was probably the moment Maki blurted out that the arrows were poisoned. The way Kokichi puts his hand on Kaito's shoulder kind of implies that this was the moment he explained his plan. But this is actually wrong because Kokichi only starts to explain the plan after Kaito drank the antidote. So why exactly is Shuichi imagining this? You can see Kaito's arm shaking because he's poisoned. Kokichi punches Kaito in his liver, the spot where his illness causes him the most pain. You can see the lid still on the bottle, meaning Kokichi never drank the antidote. You can see that Kaito really lost all hope after Maki ran away. Not even he would stay optimistic after that. Kaito did not realize Kokichi was holding an electro bomb. That's why he thought Kokichi was trying to blow himself up with him, judging by his face. Kaito's face shows he really doesn't want to drink the antidote. Kaito looks extremely reluctant going along with Kokichi's plan, but he knows that this is his choice and he hates himself for it. This is the only way to stop the killing game, but for that plan to succeed, Kaito had to go against his one rule, to not kill anyone. This is also the first time Kokichi is being genuine. Look at the seriousness on his face. The sudden silence, implying Kaito is actually considering Kokichi's plan. Kaito pulling out the arrow out of Kokichi's back implies that he finally agreed to go along with his plan. You can see that Kaito is having second thoughts when forging the crime scene. The poison has spread through most of Kokichi's body by now and he is unable to walk. This panel where you can see that Kaito is supporting Kokichi is such a beautiful panel. I am certain that if these two worked together since the beginning of the killing game, they would have solved it in under one chapter. This also literally symbolized that Kaito would support anyone because he's a good person with a good heart. Kokichi is shaking when setting up the camera. Kaito's sudden look of regret on his face, having final second thoughts about this plan. You can see that Kokichi is having trouble standing and he's even in pain when pressing the buttons. You can see that the press took a little bit longer to get down than Kaito expected. You can see because of that, he has a split second reaction he thinks that everything was a lie and Kokichi just wanted to get him in the press to kill him all along. Kaito looks so dead in these panels, knowing in a few moments the plan will be irreversible. Before killing Kokichi, you can see that Kaito's arms are shaking. And he even closes his eyes when killing him because he feels so guilty about it. The sudden silence and Kaito's broken face represents his state of mind right now, empty and full of guilt. 
During the culprit reveal, Kaito's post looks like he's piloting an Exosol, which he is. But even more interesting, unless Kaito comes out of the Exosol, Shuichi is not 100% certain that he is indeed the culprit. That's why his body is still black, unlike all the other blackens.